Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and in today's video we are discussing prices, value and essentially what is the best value for money in the realm of super shoes. I was doing some grocery shopping the other day. I was comparing the prices of black pepper. That's completely irrelevant for you, but just for you know the context and the story. And I thought, oh well, why not do this for the shoes, the super shoes in this case. If you enjoy this, we can do this also for max stack trainers, daily trainers. We can find other um, you know ideas with this same concept, but I think it's quite fun. I published these uh, charts on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you can go there and follow me as well. I try to have different content on all my different social media accounts just for you to have more value following me on the different platforms. All right, let's begin with the first chart which shows us the price for one gram of super shoe. I know this isn't really you know, scientific. Of course, some shoes have much uh, heavier uppers. Some have more stack height and more foam, so one gram doesn't really mean much. But I think this is quite interesting. And of course, here the artist is um, the best value for one gram, coming at uh, 0.41 cents in dollars, that is, um, for one gram of the artist. Next, we have the Endorphin Pro 2 and the Prime X, $0.87 per gram. And it makes sense to me, at least for the, for the Endorphin Pro 2 and the Artist, I think they're really good value for money um, and this confirms it. Then we have the Adios Pro 2. I was more surprised to see it this low on the, on the chart, 0.91. RC Elite V2, 0.97. Then we have the Deviate Elite, 0.98. This one I thought would be a bit lower, but you will see on the second graph, it's actually um, a bit lower indeed. And then we have the three most popular um, super shoes, the Alphafly Next% Percent, $106 per gram, um, Vaporfly Next% Percent, $1.13 per gram, and the Metaspeed Sky, which has the most expensive gram in the, um, in the realm of super shoes. Here, you know, I, I, I don't know, I, I think the fact that we have the three most popular super shoes at the top of the graph says something in the way that those brands are pricing them. They know they're successful and so they don't hesitate to put a, a hefty price tag on them. Other than that, of course, the artist, which I included here, not because it's really one of the best super shoes, but just because it's such a good value for money coming at $100 for the pair. Um, and then we have the second graph. But before we move to the second graph, please do me a favor, give this video a like if you're enjoying it and consider subscribing to the channel. I think 63 or 65% um, of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel. It really helps me to grow and to develop to provide you more um, valuable content, at least I hope so. So please consider subscribing um, and thank you for doing that. All right, the second graph is maybe more representative of the actual value of those shoes. Here I multiply the price by the weight and um, basically the idea is that you know we prefer lower prices and we prefer lower weights although lower weights is a debate because is there really a difference in terms of performance for us amateurs running um, between a shoe with 2000, uh, 210 grams or to 20 grams there is, but I don't think it's meaningful. However, we rate higher shoes with lower weights and therefore multiplying price by um, weight gives us a number which doesn't have any units, but um, which you know favors shoes that are both less expensive and uh, more lightweight. So here we go. And again, we have the artist at 24.5. Uh, this is divided by 1000 because otherwise the numbers were uh, going crazy. The artist, uh, just, you know, in another uh, world here again. And then we have the Deviate Elite, which I suspected would be lower on the other graph. And here it shows quite low at 41, because it's lightweight and not too expensive compared to other shoes. Endorphin Pro 2 again. So these three artists, Deviate Elite and Endorphin Pro 2, really have good value for money if you mix the, the two graphs um, together. 
And then we have all the very popular super shoes, starting with the Metaspeed Sky, which is not at the top of the, of the rankings like on the other one. And um, it also shows that this shoe is quite lightweight. And although it has a hefty price tag at $250, here it's a bit balanced because it's really lightweight. Adios Pro 2, 53.4. Then we have um, 54.7 for the two. Vaporfly Next Percent and RC Elite V2. And of course, at the top of the graph here, because it's, um, you know, the weight counts a lot in this uh, representation, we have the very heavy shoes, which also happen to be very expensive. Primex, Alphafly Next Percent, both above 70. So almost three times as much uh, in this, you know, sort of quotation compared to the artist. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. I know this may not be the most relevant numbers, metrics to look at when you're about to purchase super shoes, but I think it makes some sense and it's something that I didn't come across here on YouTube or on Instagram. So I thought, hey, why not? Let me know in the comments, did you enjoy this video? Did you enjoy this type of content? And we can do more of this if you did so. Thanks a lot for watching, enjoy your run today, enjoy your ride, and go beyond your limits. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.